Hey guys, today's video will be my Costco grocery haul, but just before I jump into that, I just wanted to show you my delicious blueberry cheesecake. I already took a slice of it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Just filming another Costco haul for you guys today. A couple of new things, well, things that I don't normally purchase. So I'll go through the pricing with you and we'll start from there. So we might start from the top. So these um, all natural piggies, they're for my dog. And that whole bag is $23.49. There's 15 piggies in there. And then we will move over to the mushrooms over here. They were $6.99 for 650 grams. So not cheap, roughly on par with Coles and Woolies price, but I find them more fresh. So I grabbed them. Moving over here, if you're a regular on my channel, you know that when I go to Costco, I like to get the four liter bottle of OJ. Um, it lasts quite a while in the fridge anyways. And I grabbed two bottles and they were $7.99 each. So it works out to be about $2 a liter. Um, pretty good value because the quality of the orange juice is very, very good. Moving down here broccoli so I normally get frozen broccoli from Coles and Woolies and it works out cheaper because this bag here it's only 750 grams and it was $9.99 so it works out more expensive but I wanted to give it a go um, because I did want to start to introduce some new items in my grocery hauls as well just to change things up a little bit because I'm sure you guys will find it boring if I just bought the same items every single week and I'm open to trying new things anyways so with this bag of broccoli it's actually not cooked whereas the frozen Coles and Woolies one it's actually already pre-cooked and you can just microwave it this broccoli is not cooked at all I'm pretty sure you can steam it in the microwave anyways but this is completely raw okay moving over here the golden kiwis now the golden kiwi is not cheap at Costco or oh, actually it still works out okay it's 1.9 kilos for $14.99 so $15 for 1.9 kilos pretty expensive for a fruit I guess but the Costco golden kiwis are way better in quality in terms of the sweetness the texture and all so I prefer getting my golden kiwi from Costco okay and something a little bit new here I don't know if you guys can see it properly. Let me bring you down. So this is a blueberry cheesecake and it is massive. So something like this, I'm obviously not going to eat all on my own. I'm going to share this. Um, this cake, this cheesecake was, I think, $30. Yes, it's $30. Now, if you're wanting to buy something like this, but you're not going to finish it or you don't have a party, you don't sorry guys i had to cut the recording because my dog went a little bit nuts but what was i saying um if you don't have like a party a big family or anything there's no way you're going to finish this cake obviously i did mention in my other haul you can maybe go halves or quarters split it with someone a friend a neighbor a sibling and then that way you can split the cost as well so i'm pretty excited to try this cheesecake it looks really 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 delicious it's got I don't know if I can show you guys because I just grabbed it from the fridge. So it's a bit frosty here, but I'll let you guys know how that goes. Moving down here, I picked up a big tub of this Flora Proactive Butter. It works out cheaper than Coles and Woolies by a mile. So this one kilo tub is $13.49. So yes, it is a little bit more expensive in comparison to your normal butters, but um, I'm going to eat this butter anyway. So if I purchase a little tub at Coles and Woolies, it worked out a lot more expensive. So I picked up the big um, one kilo tub. Moving over here, the bacon. Now, in my previous Costco grocery haul, I bought, I think it was a metal strip smoked bacon. Absolutely love it. So, so, so delicious. It wasn't cheap though, I think it was $15 or $16. You have to check out my grocery haul, well, my most recent Costco grocery haul to find out because I can't quite remember. Really, really delicious, really happy with it. But I wanted to try 
a different bacon at Costco. So I grabbed this middle bacon. It was $12.99 for one kilo, but they had a special, so it was $3 off. So it works out to be about $10 a kilo for this bacon. So pretty much on par with Coles and Woolies. But let's see if the quality is a bit better. Yeah, I think the quality does look better because it looks like it's less fat in comparison to your Coles and Woolies one. I don't like the shortcut bacon because I like a little bit of fat, but not too much fat. That's why I generally go for the middle bacon. Okay, moving on. I grabbed some chicken wings. They are $6.50 a kilo. So that's roughly about two kilos worth. I'm going to be portioning them out into some Ziploc bags and popping that in the freezer. I believe Coles and Woolies are selling chicken wings for about $8 a kilo, for me at least, at the moment. So $6.50 is quite a bit cheaper. Moving over to my chicken thighs. I was so excited to see this, guys, because if you watched my previous Costco haul, I couldn't find any chicken. It was completely all out of stock. And every time I go to Costco, I always get these chicken thighs because I love the quality of it. And it works out quite cheaper, significantly cheaper actually than your Coles and Woolies. So it's only about $9.99 a kilo. This tray is 2.2 kilos. Um, I think Coles and Woolies sell your chicken thighs for $12.50 a kilo for the cheapest range and then it can go up to about $18 from memory. So I get it from Costco. Okay now I think this pretty much wraps up my Costco grocery haul for this time round. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Please hit that like button for me if you did and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you really want to support me and you love the content I produce please 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 watch the ads that I paid on that are played on my video. Generally, it's only a couple of seconds anyways, but it really helps me out. And just a reminder for my new subscribers, I do post videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. I do post bonus videos every now and then when I see really marked down items at Coles or Woolies or big, big specials. I do post those videos live, so you are able to go out and get those bargains yourself. Anywho, thanks for watching guys. Please hit the like button, subscribe and share my video if you enjoy the content. That way it helps push my video out to some new um, viewers as well. Thanks for watching guys.